So how do we solve for these challenges? Um, so basically, I'm going to talk about how Vast on Hulu works. So a user comes, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to talk about what we did to um, combat this first. So first, we ask for a high resolution mezzanine file. So we require that for every asset that runs on Hulu, but we also require it for Vast. So that means the third parties have to host one high resolution mez file for Hulu. Um, we require then, once it's hosted by the third party, we then actually host the file as well. And the last piece is we require all of that, those videos to go through quality control. So they all get QC'd before they go live in the site. So how does it actually work? So when a user pulls up Hulu, um, they watch Quick Draw, really good show, you should watch it. Um, they go to a commercial break. A VAS ad gets uh, selected from the ad server. The ad server will actually go into that VAS ad. We'll check if the media file that is hosted by that VAS ad is on Hulu server. If it is, we'll, uh, if it isn't, we'll download it, we'll transcode it to the 100 plus uh, profiles that we require. We then host it on Hulu server. We then send it to our QC team. Once it's QC'd, they approve it. The next time we hit a commercial break and that fast ad is selected, the ad server will then check again if that media file is on Hulu server. If it is, we then play the ad from Hulu server, but then we ping the um, impression beacon and all the other beacons from the vast ad. So one other important thing to note is if it's, not on, um, if it's not on our server or if it's not approved, what we do is we send a note to our campaign manager, and our campaign manager will actually go ahead and you know, take some action, reach out to the advertiser, say this fast ad, it's not approved, and we need you to rotate back in something that um, actually is approved. Uh, so that's important to know. And what we do is, at that moment in time, the ad server will not call that ad again for a full hour. So it will give you about an hour to get a new ad up and running into the rotation. Um, and it does this every hour. So the next hour, even if it's not running, it, you know, it'll skip it. It'll um, do the whole process again until the ad is actually up and running. And again, we'll get an alert every time that, it's, that we're running an ad that's not approved or that's um, out of spec. 